If you'd like to see how I created this gold and purple canvas using glitter and rocks, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube. So today I'm going to be making an 18 by 24 canvas. I want to make this one a little different. I'm going to add some type of um, swirls or something to it, right to the point. I'm just going to be using some craft paint that I picked up from Walmart. Now also, I am going to be using some glitters. This one has some flakes I added to it. And then I have this from um, papermart.com. This is a holographic fine glitter. So, and um, what I'm going to do is kind of draw some stuff out and kind of paint within the area that I'm drawing. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do something and get started. We'll just go with the flow and see how it turns out. So this is what I came up with. It's not perfect. Um, it kind of looks like a, a river flowing. That's just kind of what comes in mind to me. I think when I paint these areas in, I'm just going to use a smaller brush. I think I'm gonna go with um, the gold here and the gold here and do these two areas purple. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm just pouring on the gold paint onto the areas of the canvas where I want to add that color. The other two swivelly areas, I will be adding the purple paint. So I'm just taking my Dollar Tree brush and I'm going to just smooth that in and try to stay in the line as best as possible. And also try to make sure that I make the paint go all the way to the edge of the canvas so that there's no white areas showing once the painting is completed. Now I'll be adding the purple color and I believe it is called Purple Pansy. And I'm just gonna squirt um, a, a hefty or generous amount on here so I can smooth it in very good. I think these two colors look very pretty together. Um, these are my friend's favorite colors. She's really into purple and lavenders and she really, really, really likes gold. So that's why I'm using these two colors together and hopefully this turns out really nice. Um, well, I already gave it to her and she absolutely loves it. Loves it, loves it, loves it. I think I will eventually invest in more um, expensive brushes because I, because I can kind of still see my brush strokes a little bit. 
So um, I know I have a little ways to go in my technique. You know, the more you do something, you always kind of find better ways of doing it or easier ways of doing it to make it look a lot better. You can just kind of see your growth over time. So I'm looking forward to that. So there were some areas that I thought I could have used a second coat of paint. So right here, I'm just adding on a little bit more gold on these areas, just so it doesn't look like it's so blotchy. Here are some rocks I picked up from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be adding some Mod Podge to the, this bowl is dried out so that in there won't affect what I'm putting in here now. It's just a craft bowl. I'm going to pour the Mod Podge on top of the rock and add some glitter to them. I'm gonna give them a nice little stir so I can get them ready. I like to add texture to my canvases so I just thought it would be great to use um, these rocks. And as you can see, I put the gold glitter on it and some gold foil and the white just covered it right up. So my plan isn't working as good as it did last time. It seems as if no matter how much glitter I add, the white Mod Podge is taking over. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add some paint, then I'll add glitter on top of it after. So I just decided to add some purple um, paint because the rocks were just still a little too light. So I stirred that up and I think that helped a lot. So I can go ahead and get ready to use these rocks on the purple without them looking like they're more, more so a lavender color. And I also added some, uh, I'm going to add some glitter to them to make them a little bit darker as well. And also to give it some sparkle. Now I'm going to add the liquid glass, which is like a resin, but it's a one step and it doesn't have that harsh smell. So I'm going to put that on the purple area where I'm going to add the rocks. And then once I pour a generous amount, I'll be taking my sponge brush and smoothing this area in. This works to really hold those rocks in place. Some people use Mod Podge, I haven't, but um, this works very, very well and it holds everything onto the canvas and it, it really locks it in there very well. And then I like to just smooth it in because it just makes it to where I can lay the rocks exactly where the um, the liquid glass is laying and I just know that it's not going to fall off. Okay, so I'm just gonna 
add the rocks to it. I'm wearing a glove because this can get kind of messy. So what I'll do is I'll just add all of the purple rocks onto the purple paint. Then I'll kind of pat it down to make sure it's nice, nice and smooth. And then I'll just continue on this step with the gold color as well.
Now I'm going to use some bigger rocks from the Dollar Tree. I put them in a bowl and I'm going to add some gold paint to them and stir up the gold paint. I'm adding glitter to the rocks so that they can have some nice sparkle and shine. And I'm just gonna stir it up. And when I add the rocks to the canvas, I'm gonna add more glitter on top of them as well. I'm adding more liquid glass and I'm just taking my brush and smoothing it out wherever I'm going to put the rocks is where you want to put the liquid glass or resin or whatever you decide to use. So I'm just going to spread these out. Um, these rocks were heavy and this canvas ended up being very heavy, much heavier than what I expected. So I'm going to fill in the other spaces later with some um, old glass that I crushed. Here's the old glass that I'm using. I added some paint to it. Um, it looks a little weird. I also added it with some, um, some rocks to it. But once I mix it all together and add glitter to it, it'll have a better looking texture to it. See, it's looking better already. So I'm just gonna kinda put this in between those other spaces I have there. Okay, so now I'm just dusting on this beautiful holographic and glitter flake glitter um, to add some sparkle to this um, canvas. One of my favorite color um, glitters, it's so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit until tomorrow, and then we'll come back and check it out once it has dried, and then we'll dust off the glitter and see how it turns out. It has been 24 hours. It has been 24 hours. Well, it has been more like about eight hours, and this painting has been drying, and I really hope that the rocks are nice and locked on tight. I've used the uh, liquid glass with rocks before, but I didn't use them with rocks this big like I did in the middle. And this is for my friend coming in from Atlanta, Georgia. It's a gift for her. She's actually on her way. So I want to just brush this off and present it to her. So let me just go ahead and hurry up. There is a couple areas I, I want to try to fix too. So we'll see how that goes. Wow, this is... This is really heavy. This is really heavy. Much oh my goodness much heavier than i expected so hopefully as much as possible stays on i'm going to 
put this over my bin and brush off and see what stays and what falls off. I'm going to continue to dust this in each direction just to make sure that all of the glitter and possibly rocks, but I don't think many rocks came off at all. It was really just some glitter just dusting off. You want to make sure all the glitter is off because once this gets hung up, you don't want whenever someone walks by or the wind blows or a gust of wind comes through that there's glitter all over your floor and carpet. That just um, won't be cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and do quite a bit of dusting with my brush. Okay, you guys, here is the final finished result of this painting. I like the idea of the swirls that I did here. I like the color combination. I think this is very pretty. I know that they will progress and get better in the future. I did give this to my friend when she came into town. She absolutely loved it, and it made me feel um, very, very good because she had mentioned since her home that she would like to have multiple paintings um, by me. So that will be coming in the future and she will have this painting. But as of now, she has this painting hung up in her current home and she is very glad and happy to have it. Um, check her out, tubsoflove23.com. Uh, she makes the most beautiful, beautiful um, cookies. And she's a very wonderful person, very professional. Thanks you guys for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it, if you received some cool ideas from it. Share it on Facebook if you like to. Um, hello to my new subscribers. Hello all my subscribers. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe if you want to. If not, thank you so much for stopping by. Bye bye.